Hello everyone, welcome back to another randomizer episode. So today's episode, I really do want to focus on fishing quite a bit. We need to get our fishing level as high as possible this season because we do need to get the summer legendary fish. We are only level six right now, but yeah, we need to start working on the legendaries because they're currently the only bundle we haven't completed for the fish tank and we haven't gotten a single legendary fish. So the summer legendary fish we need to get from the ocean and we have until 8 p.m. It's not weather dependent luckily. However, today is a good luck day. So I don't know if we want to go fishing today. <laughs> I do also want to try and go to Skull Caverns, maybe this episode already, because we have a lot of Iridium Ore that we need to get for the community center. It's needed for several bundles, I believe. It's of course needed for the metal bundle. We need 10 pieces of Iridium Ore or three Iridium Bars. And it's also needed for the Desert Bundle too, five pieces of Iridium Ore. So if we can make it to Skull Caverns this episode, that would be amazing. However, I don't know if we're ready for it. Let's be real. We don't have a very advanced weapon our energy and like health are still really low because we haven't had like star drops and stuff our tools aren't hugely upgraded and we definitely don't have bombs or food to survive skull caverns so i don't know if we're ready but we kind of have to be i think we'll go mining today in order to get ingredients for the bombs what do i even need for bombs oh yeah i just need coal or 705 pieces of sap that is ludicrous why would i need 705 pieces of sap that's wild I think we're gonna have to stick to cherry bombs unfortunately. Also if I have any quartz I think I can buy them from the desert seller for like five quartz each or something. I think it's quartz at least. I do actually have quite a bit of sap but it's not 705 pieces. <laughs> I need to get a lot more of it. I do have 116 coal though so that's amazing actually and we definitely have money to buy some food from Gus's as well. Wait what if we went today just for like a little trial run? What could go wrong? I have purple mushrooms for food. I think we should try Skull Caverns. <laughs> I might regret this. I'm gonna bring with me loads of food items I think and I'll make a bunch of bombs as well. Make like 55 cherry bombs. That's pretty good and I might bring the coal with us. Oh I don't know if that's a bit risky because if we die in there I will lose all of my coal. So maybe I won't bring the coal with me. We should get coal from killing things right? I'm also gonna leave a couple of coffees because I don't want to die with them on me <laughs> and I'm gonna go quickly grab my sword and we're just gonna try and go to Skull Caverns caverns what could go wrong honestly well a lot could go wrong we could die but it's fine we gotta try this out we need to get iridium somehow you know oh i don't even have the mine cart still of course i don't i need iridium for that okay i need to run and get my sword from the mines this is a waste of time but you know we gotta wait till 10 anyways so i just gotta get a wiggle on Pet the kitty for good luck. This is very impromptu and I definitely did not plan on going to Skull Caverns day one of this episode. I've got my weapon, let's head straight to the bus now and then away we go to the desert and let's just hope I don't die today. My inventory and like collection of things is so bad. <laughs> like I have salmon berries and spring onions in my inventory to eat at Skull Caverns. Yeah, this ain't good. This is not an advanced inventory of stuff at all. Okay, Willy, take me away, please. No regrets, okay? Okay, we have arrived. Let's go, I guess. I'm scared. Oh, wait a second. We haven't gone to the bottom of the mines yet. I thought we had. No, we haven't. Why did I think we had? Oh my God, I feel so silly. Okay, change of plans, I guess. We got to get to the bottom of the mines first. Oh no, I built that up so much for nothing. Good job, Lil. Let's head back. Take two on the day now that I've wasted half of it. Let's head to the mines, shall we? And my coffee has worn off, so we're now running really slow. This feels very humbling for me. Let's try and get as deep in the mines as we can today and hopefully unlock that blooming skull key. Oh, Gunther? Uh... Okay, whatever's happening on his day is way worse than ours. So that put everything into perspective, to be honest. We're having a good day compared to whatever that was. At least we don't have to worry about dying today. That's one silver lining. Okay, we're at 105. So we only have, is it 10 floors that we need to get down? We can do that, maybe, hopefully. Okay, we're actually flying. Oh, well, until we got infested. Yay, it's preparation for what we're gonna have to fight in Skull Caverns, you know? This is all just preparation. Yay, we made it to 110. Let's go. Let me drop some stuff off at the top now. And what do we get in the chest? Let's see. Ooh, golden pudding crocs of generosity. <laughs> I feel like they're just throwing words together and hoping for the best at this point. They are succinct and useless to wear. Wow, well, that's great. They're not terrible, but they're definitely not as cool as our pie pumps of death. We're definitely gonna keep the pie pumps. 
we are still flying through the mines. Honestly, we might reach the bottom. That would be a day well spent, especially considering we wasted half of it. Okay, we are on 119. This is the last floor. I think we might make it today. It's only 8 p.m. I have unfortunately used some of my bombs, but I have also gathered more coal and we've done it. Level 120. Yay! The skull key. You found the skull key. You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. Well, I definitely know what it's for and I could have done with it this morning, but at least we have it now. <laughs> Hopefully we have another good luck day this episode because I desperately want to get to Skull Caverns now. At least we'll get an earlier start because I can bring my weapon back with me. So maybe this was all a good thing. For now though, I will head home. I might run via Gus's and see if there's any good recipes there, either that we need for community center or that would be good to take with us to Skull Caverns. I do wish we had a bit of a better weapon, but we're gonna just have to deal with what we've got. It's only a level five dagger, so it's a bit scary, but we only need a couple pieces of Iridium and then we can bounce. So we don't have to stay there for long. Hello, Gus. Oh my God. It is looking cursed in the saloon tonight. What is going on? <laughs> what would be good? Ooh, 11 omelet, 250 each. Or salads. Salads are better, actually. Yeah, salads are better value. So maybe I'll buy a couple salads to take with us to Skull Caverns. I'm gonna get like five salads. Oh, well, that's six. So I'll get six salads. That seems pretty good. At least we have a little stash of decent food now. And we have more jams to sell. So I'm gonna do that quickly. And did I have any gems to sell as well? Because we did get a bunch from the mines i could sell a couple emeralds for sure and some amethysts too oh and we do have quite a bit of quartz that i could take with us to the desert and see if it still is what we need for bombs i'm pretty sure it's quartz you need right five quartz per bomb i'm pretty sure so i can bring that with us i really hope it's a good luck day tomorrow that would be amazing for now though let's get an early night and head off to bed day one of the episode started with a bang didn't make the most money but that's okay we did reach the bottom of the mines which is quite huge really is it gonna be a good luck day oh <gasps> it is oh my god okay it is our time it is our moment i do need to go down to the merchant and we also have a recipe on the tv so i will grab that we also of course need to water as well so i'll do that quickly we have to wait till 10 a.m anyways because we've got to wait till willie is at the bus but this is exciting i am nervous for our first school cabins trip i can't lie i definitely feel a little bit unprepared oh we got our first clemmer peppers that's cool nice and we'll get more in five days. I know that we need some quality ones, so hopefully we get some gold quality ones of those as well. Oh, we already have a gold quality one. Let's go. That's needed for the quality crops bundle. And it's also needed for the summer crops bundle, so that's amazing. And our first ancient fruit will be ready tomorrow. Let's go. That's exciting. Okay, everything is watered. I can grab the maple syrup as well. And then let's head down to the merchant quickly. Hello, merchant. Oh my god, a bull Boo! That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's so cute with the butts. I love it. Okay, is there anything we need? I'm pretty sure I recognize the anger ray. I'm gonna have to check that one. And also the plum pudding. I'm pretty sure we needed that, right? Let's have a check, shall we? Okay, plum pudding isn't need for the cooking bundle. Okay, it doesn't appear that any of those things are needed, actually. So there's not really any help from here, unfortunately, for us. But at least this bull boo did put a smile on my face. Found during winter. I'm definitely gonna have to fish one of those up because, oh my god, I want to squish it. Thanks, merchant. We'll be on our way now and we're gonna head to Skull Caverns. <laughs> I'm really scared. I'm shaking in my boots a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Hello, Willy. Take two. Take me to the desert. Desert, please let's all pretend this is our first attempt of this at least we're getting an earlier start as well and i am going to quickly run to the desert cellar and see how much bombs are i'm pretty sure they're quartz let's see yay they cost five quartz okay we can get a couple of these only six. Oh, i should have bought jades as well oh my god it's a sunday would have been perfect to bring jades oh well we haven't bought them today let's get a wiggle on and head into the mine shall we is the key gonna fit yes it does you insert the skull key into the keyhole it's a perfect fit oh god i'm scared oh my god okay oh god there's two of them this there's three of them oh god oh my god I'm too weak. No way. Oh my god, I need to leave. <laughs> Good start. Okay, okay. Hang on. Let's uh let's just heal up. This is a terrible idea. Why am I here? Let's try again, shall we? Okay. Okay. Uh there's a ghost. Ghosts are not as scary because they're not as fast, so that's kind of huge for us. 
Oh my god, I'm terrified. I'm literally terrified. This was a mistake, I think. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> we got a hole. Okay. I'm taking the shaft. Fell five levels. All right. Okay. Well. Well then, let's just heal up immediately. I'm just going to go very slowly and gently through the skull caverns, okay? We're not in a rush. We're just here to try and get some iridium. Maybe. Oh, there's a freebie, but there's so many slimes. Let's dodge them. <gasps> I did it. I dodged. This is so scary. Oh my god. Okay. Ladder, ladder. We're level nine already. This is going okay. Oh my god, there's a serpent. Okay, let's just take it. We got this. We just got to time it really well and we can destroy it. <gasps> I killed it. Oh my God. I'm a serpent murderer. I did it. I'm so happy. Oh, we got two holes. How do I choose? Oh my God. We're spoiled for choice. Let's drink our coffee and then I'm going to go top because we are the top. Seven levels. Okay, that's not bad. Seven levels I'm pretty happy with, actually. We got another ghosty. Let's just take it nice and slow, Mr. Ghosty. Oh, I hate it here. Okay, there is a large slime there, and I don't really want to fight it. I'm a bit terrified. Oh, ladder. I manifested it, I swear. I don't want to fight anything. I just want to get some iridium. We haven't come across any iridium yet, unfortunately. We're level 24 already. <gasps> Our first iridium and a hole. Are you joking? Freebie hole. And it's not a crab. Let's go. Okay, we got one piece of iridium so far. Let's see if we can get some more, perhaps. Found nine levels. Let's go. We're getting lucky with shafts today. Heck yeah. 33. Oh no. It's a serpent. There's two serpents. Oh no. I wish I'd bought some stuff for ladders. Actually, I don't even know what we need for ladders. Are you joking me? A snail, broken CD, and oil. What? Why? A freaking snail. Are you joking? Like the other stuff? Fine. Broken CD, I can get. Oil, I can get. A snail? We're gonna have to make crab pots. How do I even do those? 39 oil. Of course. Great. Amazing. Wonderful. What if I just run? No, I can't outrun it. I don't. Oh my God. I'm gonna die. Okay. 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 We did a little defense, a little defense action. Oh my God. No way. I am a warrior. What? I'm a warrior. Oh my God. I'm amazing. Yo, what was I scared of? No, I shouldn't get this confident. I really shouldn't get this confident. Give us some iridium. Come on, game. Don't be shy. Oh, we got a spicy eel. Oh, wait. It's a spicy lungkuda. I thought I needed that for like a bundle. Oh, it's the fried lungkuda that I need. Heck. Well, at least I can eat this and it will give us extra luck, which is amazing. Another hole. Four levels down. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh my god, this is not good. Run, Lil! <laughs> Run as fast as your little legs can carry you. Oh my gosh. How have we still not had any iridium? One piece is all we've been able to get. Come on. <gasps> More iridium! Oh, there's more iridium up here as well. Nice. Oh, but there is a serpent. Let's kill this off first. Nice. Nicely done, Lil. And more iridium over here too. This is what we need. How much have we gotten so far? Nine pieces. <gasps> we can at least complete one bundle, I think. There's more over here. Ooh, a chest floor. Quality sprinklers. Wait, that's really useful. We need those for the happy sprinkler bundle. Happy crops bundle. <gasps> that's really good. Yo, we only need to get one more quality sprinkler for the happy crops bundle now. Let's go. This is going so well. We're on floor 50 now, so the Iridium should start appearing more often, I think. Yes. Oh my god, it is. <gasps> we got a prismatic shard. What? Wait, that means we can get a galaxy sword. Heck yeah. Wait, this is such good news. Let's go. Ooh, and there's a dino here, but I honestly don't feel like I can take it. So I might try and avoid it, to be honest. <laughs> I don't want to die trying to get cocky over a dino, you know. Also, it's getting pretty late, so I should probably leave soonish. <gasps> Not an iridium bat. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. I almost died, I think. I should really leave soon. It's already 11.30. Oh, this is bad. There's a freebie. Just take it, Lil. <laughs> and let's get our butts out of here. Oh my god, that went so well. Holy heck. I'm gonna go and do the prismatic shard right now. Let's get ourselves a galaxy sword. We deserve it. Yay! Galaxy sword! <laughs> this went so well. I can't believe it. Oh. 
No, no, wait, it's not a galaxy sword. Oh, it is a level 18 dagger though. A discount pangolin switchblade of the ocean. I will take it. We have gotten well used to daggers in this series. I will happily take it. <laughs> this went so well. We definitely have stuff for bundles now. Let's head back home. Let's see if we make it on time. Hopefully we do. I am so happy. That was such a good Skull Caverns run. I can't believe it. I'm literally smiling from ear to ear right now. And let's quickly put away all the things we need for our community center. And we have a bunch of Omni Geodes to open as well. So I might go Geode opening tomorrow because there is a bunch of minerals and artifacts that we need for the community center now for like the bulletin bundle. And for now, let's pet our kitty and head to bed. Level seven mining, let's go. That does remind me, we definitely need to get our booty to the ocean to do some fishing. And it's a neutral luck day. So I think today we're going to go and donate things and then we're probably going to go fishing for most of the day. I also want to open geodes, of course, but it's going to be a much chiller day today, I think. Oh, we got our first honey as well. That's cool. Our fragrant jasmine is going to be ready in one day. You know, that's needed for the bundles. Our rue flower is going to be ready in a day. Oh, the coffendros look so cool. <gasps> and our first ancient fruit as well. I think that's needed for the dwarf bundle. So I can donate that immediately. And we've got our honey, even though we've already donated that. And QI wants us to get to level 25. We can easily do that, I think. We got to 50 before. We're up to 32 pieces of clay now as well. So we're definitely getting closer to that. Is it 45 or something? Okay, let's go donating. Firstly, we have our ancient fruit for the dwarf bundle. We have our iridium that completes the metal bundle and finishes the minecarts as well. We get a mayonnaise machine from that. That's kind of weird, but... Alas, the rewards are always really weird at this point. Second room complete! Yay! Look at his little grey Janamo. They're so cute. Heck yeah! We've actually finished our second bundle. This is amazing. Next, we have our gold clemmy Thai pepper for the quality crops bundle. And also a regular clemmy Thai pepper for the summer crops bundle. And finally, we can finish the desert bundle with our five iridium ore. And we get a seed maker. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yay! Hey, we did so good. We got presents and stars. Oh my god, what an amazing start to the episode. Let's go and take this good luck and open up some of these geodes and see if we get anything we need from there too. This is going so well. I'm thrilled right now. And a terrified Pierre is just what I need to make my day even brighter. That brings a smile to my face, seeing Pierre so scared. Hello, Clint. Please open my geodes for me. We're getting so much iridium now. Are you joking? Okay, we didn't get anything that amazing. I think we have a couple donatables though. Yeah, we have the Neptunite for Willy and the Mudstone for Jazz. We also got a bit of clay. We got some more Iridium actually. So we can go and donate some of these things. Let's start by donating to the museum. Oh, we got a new reward. I'll plop these all down. Another new reward. Okay. Are they going to be useful rewards though, Marnie? No, they're not. Thanks a lot. Thanks for nothing. Don't know why I'm sassing money, but oh well. And let's quickly run and donate some of them to the community center as well since we're here. And then I shall head off to go fishing. Oh my god, Gunther at it again. What does he put in his cereal? Honestly, the guy is wild. Okay, Willy, we've got your Neptunite. We only need one more item for him. Okay. And Jazz, we've got the Mudstone. And we only need one more item for her as well. And let the fishing begin. We're just trying to get as high level as we can before we tackle the Summer Legendary Fish. I might also buy the Iridium Rod before then as well. So we can have like a trap bobber and also some bait. I can't help thinking that really we should be fishing at the mines because that is where the quill is gotten. And the Quilt is needed for three bundles, for Jody, for Jazz, and for the Dwarf. So I think I might run up to the mines and fish there instead. There's nothing at the ocean that we need now for the community center, so makes sense to invest our time fishing at the mines, I guess. The only problem is I don't know what floor it needs to be fished from. Oh, I was gonna say we can use the mine carts, but actually we can't until tomorrow. Oh, that's so annoying. It's fine. We can run up there. We'll use our legs for this one last time, I guess. Oh, we got another more skipper. 
which sells for 1312 as we know. I don't know if this is the space to fish for the quilt. Maybe the higher levels would be better. Oh my god, that piece of trash got us up to level 7. Love that for us. I think I'm going to try and fish at a higher level because we're just getting trash. Oh my god, what a weird assortment of stuff in this chest. We got the strange doll. We got some geodes as well. I haven't been able to find the quilt yet. I fished on every single level as well, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's gone midnight, so we're on our way home, but that was a bit disappointing. I am just going to sell some of these fish though, since they're not needed anyways. And let's pet our kitty and head off to bed. And the minecarts are done. Let's go. That's going to be huge. A huge help for us getting around the map for sure. We can leave the mines a little later now because we can get straight to the bus stop. And we leveled up in fishing. We got the worm bin. Nice. And we made a bunch of money specifically from fishing because of the more skipper that sells for so much money. 4k easy. <laughs> so it is a bad luck day today. This works out well because we need to do more fishing. As I said at the beginning, this is going to have to be a fishing heavy video. The excitement was really at the start of the episode. <laughs> oh, we do have Carillo's ready though. Actually, we have a bunch of crops ready. Our radiators are done tomorrow. Tomachokes will be done tomorrow. But our jazz mister is ready, which is amazing. Whoa. Yo, you get seeds from them? Oh, they must be equivalent to like sunflowers or something. You get like full seed packets though. That's so cool. I'm going to plant these back down again. Oh, from the jazz mister seeds, we got pumpyanda seeds. What? Okay, interesting. I'm going to plant them down, I guess. Weird that we got different seeds. Oh, and these are pumpianders. Okay, we already had some of those, so we can harvest all of those. We have loads to harvest today, actually. <gasps> and we leveled up. We leveled up in farming. Let's go. Level six now. I wonder what we'll unlock with that. Yo, the artabobs are looking cool. Corfenjos will be ready tomorrow as well. Gonna have loads to donate. We have 34 spaces for new seeds. And we also have some mayo as well. <gasps> Yo, we just got 10,000 from QI. Oh, yeah, because that quest of getting to level 25 in Scotland caverns still counts if you did it before you got the letter so we got the 10k we're so rich literally the richest i'm gonna head to the community center and donate the items that we got just then from harvesting and then i'm gonna run and buy some more seeds we need 34 more seeds i can also sell a bunch of seeds i assume so i'm probably gonna just sell them straight up since we're so rich already we don't really need to process them through like the jars or the kegs or something we're kind of just minted honestly okay we have the roo flower for the quality crops bundle we have the fragrant jazz mister for the flower bundle which finishes the flower bundle heck yeah what do we get another mayo machine for real why so many mayo machines oh my god and we have the roo flower for the summer crops we have the jazz mister for the summer crops and also the common squad drop for the summer crops too. We only have one left for here. So I'm pretty sure I can go and sell all of these now. So I'm going to do that quickly. I'm going to sell everything but one of each, I think, just in case we end up needing them later on. Okay, we are pretty rich. I can't lie. Let's buy ourselves 34 more seeds then. I might just go with the Collirillo seeds, honestly. 34 of those seems pretty good. Let's do it. Let's go and plant them and then we we can go fishing in the mines okay nice these are all planted and i will be here for the rest of the day fishing at the mines hoping to get this quilt fish but most likely not getting it but at least i'll get my fishing level up hopefully <gasps> We got the quilt. Let's go. Okay, we've got one quilt. We need two more. At least I know I can get it from here though. I'm gonna fish on the ice levels all day, all night to get the other two quilts. <gasps> oh, we got another new fish, a milkler. And we got a dino egg. What? Okay. Weird luck with mines fishing. I can't lie. The milkler. What a weird little fish. I wonder how many fish we can get from the mines. I swear it's usually not this many. Yay, we got another quilt. Let's go. We just need one more now. Oh my god. And out of nowhere, we've done it. Literally, we spent days trying to get that. And now we've got all three in a matter of hours. This game is so random with its luck, I swear. Well, we're gonna go and donate them. Okay, one quilt for the dwarf, one quilt for Jody, and one quilt for little Jazz. And her bundle is complete. 
Let's go. What? Why? We got the Prairie King arcade system. Well, that's kind of cool because I am never ever going to get this any other way. Like I'll never obtain this in Stardew. So I've never completed Prairie King. I probably never will. So this is kind of epic that I've got that now. This is the only save that will ever exist in. That's so random. Oh my God, Gunther. Who are you? <laughs> Demetrius. Yeah, it makes sense. I get why he's acting so odd. It's Demetrius. I'm gonna buy myself some more coffee as well because we deserve it and we're rich. And oh, a super meal. Is that needed? Let's have a check. Oh no, we've actually already had that one. Okay, I am starting to worry slightly about some of these food items. I know the hash browns, I can buy the recipe, so I might do that. Yeah, we can buy the recipe here. Easy. I just don't know how to make it though. We need a colorillo and some oil. Oh, we can totally do that. We probably should be focusing a little bit more on these food items because they are kind of random. Because there's some of these items, like I know the stir fry and the coleslaw are needed. And we can definitely put some of these items in the fridge already. And some of them I've been using, like cave carrots and common mushrooms. I'm pretty sure I've been using and selling them. So I should probably be saving them, really. And also mayonnaise. I should probably be buying an egg to put in our mayo makers whenever we find one at the merchant. Because the merchant has sold eggs a couple times and I haven't bought them. But I didn't really know we needed them. So I need to be doing this planning ahead of time. I'm also going to put my arcade system pride of place next to my bed because that is so cool. Heck yeah. I also realized we got a couple of Jojo Colas from fishing. So we can make two more sprinklers that might be enough did we need five of those yeah we actually did okay hang on i'm pretty sure we have three outside right oh <gasps> we do we can donate them that's huge we've done the sprinklers let's go i am gonna place them just for now because i may as well wait until we've got other stuff for the happy crops bundle till we donate these because they're doing a little bit of watering which is helpful but we've actually finished them that's so exciting and we can actually make the hash browns recipe so i'm gonna do that that is needed for the cooking bundle i believe yeah that's needed for the cooking bundle so i can save that but i think that was a day well spent i think we are gonna head off to bed now pet the cat and sleep a nice early night Oh my god! Level 6 farming has unlocked so much stuff. Apparently we've just unlocked the preserves jar, which we definitely already had, but okay. We got the keg now, that's really cool. We got the loom, speed grow, and deluxe speed grow, which we do need for the happy crops bundle as well. So that's really exciting. Let's go, all those new recipes. And we got a bunch of money once again. And today is the last day of the episode. Let's see what antics we get up to today. I think we might be fishing, even though it's a really good luck day. I think we might try for the legendary fish. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit scared to do it, but I think we're gonna. We're gonna try and get the summer legendary today. But first, I do want to go and donate some stuff. I want to go and open some geodes and donate some stuff to Gunther. Also, I should totally be putting these quality sprinklers outside as well until I get the final fifth one that I need, because they can water a bunch of stuff for us too. We've got Coffenjos to harvest. We can definitely donate one of these. And we've got the Ratatatoes to harvest too. Got a bunch of Tomachokes as well. Oh my god, so much to harvest today. And I want to check what the recipe is for Deluxe Speed Grow. Magma Geodes and Earth Crystals. Okay. Oh, we actually need the quality fertilizer, not Speed Grow. I wonder if I have to buy that from Pierre's maybe. I will have to investigate that further. Okay, we have a bunch more crops to sell now. We've got the tomachokes, which looks so cute. We've got another aprosnip and we've got the radotatoes. And some Cofenjos as well. We do need to save one to donate, but I can sell a couple. Okay, let's donate the hash browns to the cooked bundle. And the Cofenjo to the summer crops bundle. Completing the summer crops bundle. Let's go. So many completed bundles today. And we got the auto grabber. Interesting. <laughs> so random. Now I'm going to head off and open up some more geodes and donate some more things to Gunther. Because we're still trying to unlock the sewers, of course, to get the legendary fish from the sewers. Hello, Clint. Please give us something good. I'm actually always really excited to get clay. That's pretty sad. Okay, we didn't get tons from that. I don't know if there's anything that's donatable besides, of course, the clay. <laughs> but at least I can give some of it to Gunther properly. Oh <laughs> my god. Pen up. What? That's the saddest one I've seen so far, I think. At least Emily's just meditating and Elliot's doing whatever Elliot is doing, but Jazz looks sad. <laughs> okay, let's donate all of this cool stuff. 
a new reward. Let's go. I wonder if we're almost at 60 items. I kind of want to count. Okay, we're at 51 items. I think it's 60 items needed to unlock the sewers, right? So we're getting really close. 51 is not bad. We're still just getting random items as our reward, so I'm not going to bother getting those. It is time to go and buy ourselves a new rod and a trap bobber. Oh, wait, I wanted to go and get my lobster bisque as well to help us with the fishing skill. Let me quickly run home and do that. And I can use the minecarts for the first ever time as well. Let's do it. Oh, I just leveled up in foraging <laughs> from that one spice berry. <laughs> I'm also going to make a bunch more bait as well because it just uses fiber so I may as well stock myself up. Let's plop that on our rod. I think we only have till 8 to get this legendary fish so hopefully we can do it in time. That would be a really nice end to the episode but I don't anticipate we're going to be able to do it. We're just going to give it our best shot because the legendary fish are really hard so I might fail a couple times. Right we're going to grab ourselves the iridium rod. Nice and we're also going to grab I think some trap bobbers. Yeah, we want a couple of these. Okay, I've stocked up nicely. I'm going to put them onto my iridium rod and also my bait on my rod as well. And let's get going. We have six hours to try and get this legendary fish. Can we do it? What are you giggling at, Robin? And then give him side eye. Make your mind up, babes. <laughs> oh, there's actually bubbles here. wonder if that counts. Let's eat our lobster bisque. And I wonder if it counts to fish here with the bubbles. Fingies crossed, we get it. I don't know if you have to be stood in a particular spot off this pier or if it can just be anywhere on the pier. I'm not totally sure. Okay, this is going to be our last opportunity, I think, before 8pm. We haven't had it on the line at all. We got seaweed. <laughs> as soon as it hits 8pm, we can't get it anymore. No, we didn't get it on the line, not even once. Let me just check. I think it said 8pm. Yeah, 6am till 8pm. We should have come earlier, really. But we didn't get it on the line, not even once. That's so sad. I think I'll spend the rest of the evening fishing anyways, because we do have our buff from the lobster bisque. And we may as well try and get up to level 8 or something in fishing. We're getting pretty close, because the higher the level, the easier it'll be when we do try again to get the legendaries. We need to get all of them, so <laughs> it's going to be rough. I wonder why we didn't get on the line at all. Oh, wait. Uh, Okay, hang on. This is it. This is the legendary. Okay. Screw what it said about 8pm, I guess. Oh my god, wait. Focus, Lil. Focus. <gasps> we did it. Oh my god, we did it. We got the Gobbo Puss. What a horrible name, but we did it. Heck yeah. <laughs> a gold quality one as well. It sells for 2,812 gold. What an ending. My heart is literally racing. What an end to the episode. Let's forage quickly and then I'm going to go and donate that. That is our first legendary fish caught. Let's go. That wasn't too bad. Definitely the lobster bisque helped, I think. It gave us plus three fishing. Literally put us up to level 10. Okay, we're going to donate this to the last fishing bundle we have left. Our first legendary fish, the Gobbo Pus. Horrible, horrible name, but it's done. Let's go. So we still need to get obviously the sewer one, the full one and the winter one. We did unfortunately miss the spring fish because we I think we would have had to get level 10 in order to get it. But at the same time, we got this after 8 p.m. So maybe all the rules are out the window. Who knows? But that is such a good ending to the episode. We've had such a successful episode, honestly. We got so much done. I can't believe we did the skull caverns as well. And got a prismatic shard. We have this cool ass dagger now. I'm so excited for this series. I'm having so much fun with it. <laughs> Let's sell whatever fish we did manage to catch as well. And let's head off to bed. We'll get an early night. It is a bit of a waste of our bisque, but it's fine. We've got four more of them. Oh, and we get to choose a foraging profession. I'm going to go for gatherer for sure. Double the forage sounds pretty groovy to me. And we made a bunch more money as usual. <laughs> I'm getting overconfident with this series. I've probably forgotten something crucial and it's going to bite me in the ass later on. All this confidence isn't good, I'm sure. But on that note, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.